My name is Austin Clues. I'm one of the directors here at uh, CCM. My role here is to work with my fellow director, Gary Harvin, to develop uh, CCM's programme into the future um, and then to drive that and try and make this happen. CCM stands for Clues Competition Machines. The company was started in 1971 by my father. He was a keen motocross rider. He used to race internationally, mainly in France. He used to set off to the motocross races on a Friday afternoon after his work during the week and uh, race in the south of France and he'd be back at work on Monday morning. <laughs> so my father uh, decided that he wanted to make some lightweight motocross bikes, which you couldn't actually go and buy really in those days. The only way to get one was really to make your own. He was very good pals with um, I say PA cars makers, uh, a few of the, the, the old uh, time riders in, in those days. Uh, one of his very good friends was Doug Hacking motorcycles from Bolton. So Doug would come around and see my father in the evenings, see what he was doing and uh, in his garage he'd be building you know, a lightweight motocross bike, uh, mainly from BSA parts and things like that, and changing the engines to make them a little bit quicker and lighter. And Dougie would, uh, would come along and say, look, you know, I've got a customer for this bike, do you want to sell it? And you can make the next one a little bit better. So he would say, yes, okay, so. He actually never ended up with a, a, a bike at all because every one he made was sold through, through Doug Hacking Motorcycles. And then about a year later, my dad decided that, you know, this this is, could be a good business for him. So he opened a factory in the centre of Bolton and it went from there. You know, they, they started to sell a few hundred motorcycles each year all through the 70s. You know, some great riders, so Bob Wright, John Banks, Vic Eastwood, Vic Allen, all racing in the British Championships and the Grand Prix with some great results. Uh, you know, they go to the, the, the GPs and uh, we never actually won one, unfortunately, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the 70s, but a few second places and top five finishes, you know, against against the biggest companies in the world. So CCM was known in those days as very much as you know, it was the David and Goliath battle. So it kind of developed from there and uh, here we are today. Well, CCM have been around for a long, long time and I think probably most of our new customers think we're the new kids on the block. We've got a great following going back to uh, the early days of, of scrambling, trials, motocross and so on. So there's a lot of died in the world enthusiasts who know and, uh, and have followed CCM for, for many, many years. Alan Clues, the founder, uh, started the business off back in 1971, so 46 years ago. We've got a great pedigree, but most of our new customers don't uh, don't realise this. So the, the the real task for us is to get across the fact that we're we're not just some new fly-by-night company. That we've got great heritage. That we've got this fantastic pedigree from building motorcycles that uh, that can perform. They, they don't just look great. You know, we're not just uh, uh, some corporate brand just uh, designed to sell motorcycles. We're still an iconic family brand. Still in the business. Uh, Alan retired some years ago, but uh, his eldest his son Austin is running the business alongside his brother-in-law Gary, his younger brother Russell is running production and uh, the grandsons of the founder uh, are actively working within the business as well so it really is still a great family concern. I, I looked around the NEC motorcycle live show and there's lots of there's lots of brands that have been around for a long long time but do they have any links with the past and I uh, dare I say uh, not because most of them are badge engineering so they've been uh, resuscitated to create new motorcycles. CCM really is linked to that very first motorcycle back from the early 70s. Well I used to go to all the motocross races with my dad when I was very little and when I was two and a half years old he made me uh, uh, a small motorcycle from a, a paratroopers motorcycle which was a Corgi engined 100cc very long, short motorcycle. And I used to go riding with him when he used to go practicing. And uh, I didn't actually first race a bike, but I had bikes all through my childhood. I didn't really race a bike until I was 12 years old. So that was my first motocross race was 
the Scottish Schoolboy Championships as a support race to the, uh, the British Championships at Kil Kilmartin, Kilmarnock, Kilmartin. And I finished second in it, so, you know, I, I, I've always been passionate about bikes myself and uh, very close to what's been going on with CCM. I left school at 15, my first job here was cleaning all the machines. I used to make absolutely everything at CCM, engines, forks, wheels, frames and uh, progressed through you know my, my working life in every single um, section of, of, of the company so you know I've, I've done all the machining I've done the design I've done the sales I've done the cleaning up I've done the assembly of motorcycles and all through that time I, you know I, I picked up a, what I think is a pretty good way to, to run the company I think we've got a, a really good team that we've built here now and um, you know, we, we've, we've got some, a very good future. One of the things that makes CCM, we believe, really different and special is that we put our customers at the centre of everything. We're a small business, we don't have a, a national or international chain of dealers. However, we feel that actually that works in our favour because we can interface directly with our customers, we can have that, uh, that very personal communication with them. For example, currently with our GP450 adventure bike, we've got customers who are riding the bikes to uh, across Africa, South America, doing the Trans-America Trail. You know, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not unique. Uh, we, we have sometimes issues where something breaks down, but it's how we deal with that. The great thing is our customers can contact us from the Rocky Mountains or the Andes and, uh, and find out how to fix a fuel pump or how to uh, replace a, a solenoid and so on. They can speak to our engineers, we can help them within days, we can ship out a part to any corner of the world and give them that, that very, very personal direct service. Just for our regular customers in the UK, it doesn't matter that you're not within easy reach of, uh, of a dealer. We have uh, a team of mobile engineers who will go out, service the vehicles. If there's a warranty issue, we can pick up the motorcycle, bring it back to base, fix it and return it to the customer. So we feel that that service is really a, a standard setter in the, the, the British motor motorcycle industry. The great success story about CCM Motorcycles, it's a British firm. All of the, the motorcycles are built here in Bolton by a great team of people, many who have been with the company for many, many years, hand building those, uh, those great iconic motorcycles. The Spitfire, for example, uh, will take place, the construction will take place here in our factory in Bolton. They'll be put together by our, uh, our team of engineers. The beauty of those bikes are, with them being hand built, is that customers will be able to specify uh, a number of different options to their specifications. We've already had a number of customers that have come to the factory, tried the Spitfire for size, and uh, we've made certain adjustments to the subframe. For example, uh, we have three petite female customers who um, have bought the bike and we've actually tailored the subframe so that they can uh, reach the floor very very easily on that bike so that's the the beauty of uh, a motorcycle company like CCM that we um, you can speak to the engineers speak to the people that build the bikes and um, you can have a part in how your bike is built here at the factory. It's very important for us to keep it in this region, let's say, and very important to, to try to keep as much of the, you know, manufacture of the bike in this region as well. In fact, we, we have a, a clear plan going forward for the next five years, which will involve the birth of a few variants of Spitfire over the next year and a half, and then obviously the development of the GP600, and throughout that time we will, we will try to evolve those products into what will actually be probably a different product than you see here but homologated products that we can then begin to export around the world. To do that we, we, we've, put a, uh, we've put together a very clear plan for the future for ourselves and uh, with all of the help that's available at the moment now from the British government because of the Brexit we find that there are lots and lots of opportunities popping up all over the place not just for motorcycle manufacturers but for manufacturer especially in the northwest region this factory is at the minute it's, it's bulging you know there's a, there are, we probably couldn't get many more employees in here we've had to rearrange the offices just recently we took another five or six staff on including another cat engineer just to cope with the 
with the success of the Spitfire and its, uh, its, its variant that's out there, just about to be launched, which is a Scrambler, Spitfire Scrambler. We look to be in possession of a new building in October 2018, with a view to be actually delivering motorcycles from that new factory in January 19. Those motorcycles will be homologated and, uh, and ready for export. The current site for CCM motorcycles is quite a historic one. CCM have been building motorcycles here for many, many years. There used to be a, a, an old brick factory on this site where some heavy engineering, you know, frames were welded and engines were, were, were put together and so on. Now we, um, we design and we construct the, the GP450 and of course soon to be Scrambler and, uh, and Spitfire models. The great news is, is that uh, we We've got a, a fantastic expansion plan with uh, a new factory site located and um, uh, later on next year we'll be moving to this site and we can expand uh, our plans for, uh, for some new models which will take us into some new and diverse international markets. The beauty of having this site is that we can build that so we cater more and more for our customer. There'll be um, a, a fantastic customer experience where people can see their bikes being assembled, they can see their bikes being serviced, they'll be able to, uh, to try and buy on that site as well. So we're really looking way into the future to, uh, to really set a standard for motorcycle manufacturing and sales within the UK.